Earlier today, Street Fighter V was leaked in a video that was posted on YouTube. Now Capcom has taken the video down, but that's not where the story ends because, okay, now of course I can understand that the video was leaked onto YouTube and naturally of course Street Fighter V is a topic that a lot of people would be talking about. So of course a lot of YouTube videos were made after the fact. Myself making a video as well too because you know I mean it's big news and plus I like Cat uh, I like Street Fighter the series as a whole so I mean Street Fighter V is big news to me. So the problem now begins with the way Capcom handled the situation. All the Street Fighter V videos that were posted today, including mine, were taken down due to copyright infringement and everyone was given a copyright strike because of it, including myself. So as you guys are about to see, my channel has a copyright strike. Um, as you can see here, the Street Fighter V leaked Capcom taking down videos of the trailer. This is important to note. Now. You might just be saying, oh, well, you know, huh, good for you. You you got the copyright strike because, you know, you were posting footage of the game. Uh, uh, wrong. Wrong. Because in my video earlier today, if some of you did manage to see it, I did not post any footage of the game at all. And um, if you don't believe me, I actually have the video right here. I can show you guys for yourself so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see... Right here, What's my Street Fighter 5 video had no footage because the video was taken down by Capcom earlier. Now, the only thing that I did in this video was take a look at the Kotaku article talking about Street Fighter 5. As you guys can see, the video was down. I did not talk about Capcom Street Fighter 5. I mean, I talked about it, but I didn't show the trailer in my video. I was basically reporting news on this. Now... As you guys can see here, it's pretty crazy because all I did was review a Kotaku article in my video and yet they took it down. So it made me wonder, did Capcom even watch my video in the first place? Because if they did, they would have seen that it didn't infringe upon copyright and it didn't have the trailer playing in it and they wouldn't have taken it down. It's very odd that they did that. Now, I thought it was just a special case just for me. So I thought someone had to be pushing the button themselves over at Capcom. Oh, I don't like this black guy with the high top. Take him down. But... There are a lot of other things coming up to the light right now involving a lot of YouTubers. And you know what? There's a whole lot of drama going on. And in the words of PokeAMD, I like drama. Drama's cool. I'm all about that. <laughs> and I mean, I, I'm all about drama as long as it's, you know, as long as it's neutral. Actually, all kinds of drama is good every now and then. But this drama is definitely not needed because Capcom is starting to infringe upon everyone's United States God-given right well, at least YouTube's given right, all free speech on here. So now, it sounds like I'm getting a little bit deep for you guys, but let me explain to you what I mean. I thought this situation ended with me. I contacted somebody at my partner company, and they're looking into this right now. He responded to me a few minutes ago saying that, oh, wait a minute, we have a long list of inquiries about people complaining that their videos got taken down and given a strike by Capcom and their videos didn't contain any copyright sensitive material. I mean, this is a leaked video at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, but photos, just talking about it, seems to be getting videos taken down as well too. This doesn't end there. IGN, IGN posted a video in relation to Street Fighter V right here, and I commented on it. A lot of people were like, oh, Etika, you're hype about Street Fighter V too? That's what I'm talking about, you're hype about everything. God damn it. <laughs> but I mean, Street Fighter V news video by IGN. As you can see right here in my email, this is the last email notification I got that somebody responded to. You click the video, Street Fighter V exclusive news video by IGN, the IGN, is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Capcom Company LTD. So here's what I'm trying to show you guys. Capcom not only went after my video, they went after every single video on YouTube that was posted in relation to Street Fighter V. And the consequences, or rather the circumstances of their hunt down for these videos are what's disturbing. Because it's not as simple as them just saying, oh, take down all Street Fighter V videos. It's the action upon which they took in order to enable that. Now, I'm going to show you someone else. Review Tech USA. Some of you guys have referenced this guy to me before. Um, some of you say that I'm a lot like him now. I do enjoy his channel and I do watch some of his videos. Not a huge, huge fan, but I do like his content every now and then. He also posted a video about Street Fighter V, but we'll get to him later. I just wanted to bring him up for now. Let's look a little bit more into what Capcom's having done to them right now, because on Twitter, things are blowing up to a really large level, because there's a lot of YouTubers right now who are bitching at them. Maximilian, this Maximilian guy, who's apparently a really big YouTuber, this guy is huge, man. He has like 200,000 subscribers, over 200,000 subscribers. If we take a look at his profile, he says, okay, 
It's official, Capcom has given me a second strike on a video that is just me talking into a camera with zero footage of Street Fighter V. Please retweet. Here is what's disturbing. How would Capcom be able to take down a video and give the channel a copyright strike over him just talking about Street Fighter V in his video without even having any footage or any pictures of it? They gave him a strike and took his video down. This is odd, and I'm not just speaking from a YouTuber standpoint here. I'm starting to speak from just a United States legal system standpoint because YouTube is based in the United States, so it follows United States law. How is this possible? You see, if Capcom actually had somebody, like a human, who was taking the videos down one by one, he would have been able to watch this guy's video, Maximilian, and seen, oh, wait a minute, Maximilian, he doesn't actually show any footage in his video, therefore, there's no reason to take him down. He would have watched my video and said, this guy, he's not showing any footage of the game in his video, he's just reporting on it. News, boom, I can't take him down. Capcom did not have a human being doing the takedown. It was a machine which was programmed to take down any videos on YouTube that have the title Street Fighter V in them. That's what I feel like happened with Capcom because Review Tech USA posted a video in relation to Street Fighter V that, like Maximilian, had no footage of the actual game in it. It just simply talked about the game. But the difference between Review Tech USA's video is the fact that he did not put Street Fighter V in his title. He just put these BS half-ass exclusives needs to stop. He didn't say anything about Street Fighter V, he just had the thumbnail. Not an exclusive. But he did not mention the title in his goddamn title. I mean, he did not mention Street Fighter V in his title. But what did IGN do? What did I do? What did Maximilian do? And it don't end there, baby. It does not end there. This goes a lot deeper. There's a ton of YouTubers out there. A ton that got their videos taken down. It's crazy. Inside gaming. Capcom flagged our video, so no daily today. Sorry, guys. Inside Gaming, 153,000 followers on Twitter. How big is their YouTube channel? Over 650, over 600,000 subscribers. Their video on Capcom Street Fighter V got taken down. Not even, and they didn't infringe on anybody's copyright. None of us did. All we did was have the title in our videos, and all of a sudden, we get targeted by Capcom. We get given copyright strikes, and we essentially have our rights taken away from us without even realizing it. There was no footage used in my video. There was no footage used in Maximilian's. There was no footage used in IGN. If you guys watched IGN's video on Street Fighter V earlier today, you would have seen for yourself that there was absolutely no footage, no pictures of Street Fighter V shown in that video. And yet Capcom has the audacity. They have the gall. They actually feel as if they can go around doing this kind of thing. What about the little guys? I mean, I'm, I guess I'm somewhat of a bigger YouTube channel, but what about the little guys who don't even have networks fighting for them? How dare you take it within your own hands to break United States law, to do what you feel you can, and just go around stopping all these news reporting websites. If anything, the only people that Capcom should be mad at is themselves because they obviously got some screws loose if they have some leaky faucets in there. I mean, come on, man. We're good. Come on. Come on, dog. And, and then... And then, now, here's the thing. I, I'm not saying that I hate Capcom. I still enjoy their products. They're, they're an amazing company. Their works, are, their works are greatly adored by me, but the way they handle the situation is sloppy. It's sloppy, it's dysfunctional, and it's definitely not effective, and it's giving them a negative taste. And here we go. Maximilian, once again, don't worry, guys. I'll be getting help from Capcom USA crew, but no Street Fighter V videos until the guys at Capcom Japan stop going crazy. So, the problem isn't Capcom USA. It's Capcom Japan, apparently, who are going insane with this whole thing. If Inside Gaming, IGN, Maximilian, and a ton of other YouTubers got hit with copyright, then, I mean, obviously, something's up. And plus, it's kind of funny, because in my YouTube video, all I did was cover the Kotaku article in relation to Street Fighter V but my video got taken down just for talking about the article on Kotaku. But <laughs> are you wondering what the fate of the Kotaku article is? You're gonna love this one. You're gonna absolutely love this one. <laughs> the Kotaku article is still up. <laughs> it's still fucking up. <laughs> it's still here. This is the same article. I literally just scrolled through the article in my YouTube video, reporting it like news to you guys without even showing any video because it was already taken down at that point. And, and these motherfuckers that <laughs> That is so ridiculous. I mean, it's it's. I guess it's a serious issue, but I can't help but laugh, man. Like this is absolutely, this is absolutely comical, man. I mean, so all in all, Street Fighter Five, Capcom is very butthurt about it, but they went about it the wrong way. 
and I'm pretty sure they're going to catch the boom for this in some way or fashion. The guys at my network said they were already working on it and this problem should be resolved. So at the end of the day here, it's we basically just wait till Monday because a lot of these companies are pretty much off for the weekend. And hey, you know, my channel, if you guys want to know what a channel with a copyright strike can't do, I'll show you guys right now actually for your reference. This is the first copyright strike I've ever gotten on my channel ever. So um, let's take a look here. Copyright sanction. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I want to be able to actually see what's going on. We're in my video manager right now, but uh, obviously I can't, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I got an email from them though. I'll just show you guys the email that I got from YouTube. It'll be good to document. Okay, so copyright takedown notice. Due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. The video title was Street Fighter V lead, Capcom taking down video. <laughs> <laughs> they took down my video talking about the takedown of other videos. <laughs> you have received a copyright strike. You lose some things that you can do with your channel. So here's what I can no longer do. I'll show you. Um, I can no longer. Um, I can no longer have videos privated. Oh no, no I'm not trying to do this. But um, yeah, I, I, th I think I can no longer have videos privated. I can no longer do live streams on YouTube because that that's that that's that's just such. An amazing thing that I wish I could have kept doing. Twitch is definitely not an alternative. But I mean, I can't do unlisted and private videos anymore. I can't make any appeals to content ID, so I lose even more of my rights as a United States citizen. I can no longer have paid subscriptions, which sucked on YouTube as it is. External annotations, that kind of hurts. And um, I get this little nice red badge right here. If you receive two more strikes, your account will be terminated after seven days. For not <laughs> all, for all you were doing was reporting news, and that that's pretty much it. So some counter arguments. Now let's think of it. Some people could say, "Oh, well, you know, you still posted about it, therefore you deserve the strike." Uh ha, uh ha ha ha. Well, my friend, if that's how you feel, then you should probably move to fucking communist China because information suppression is their specialty. And um, then again, I guess it makes sense that Capcom's doing. It. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. Um, it's it's just a very crazy way that Capcom would go about this, considering that Capcom seemed to be more of the liberal side when it came to copyright on YouTube. They were actually really open with people using their content. They allow people to use their music in certain extents. So I mean, it's very confusing to me why they went about this. But according to Maximilian, it's Capcom Japan. Okay. Again, I've got some good friends at the Capcom USA offices, but it appears some individual at Capcom Japan has it in for me right now. And some of you guys that don't know, I did an official video production, blah, blah, blah. It's not anyone. I think Capcom has it. So if you say Street Fighter V in the title of a YouTube video, it gets taken down. I kind of want to be ballsy. Can one of you guys test this? Can one of you guys post a video? In fact, let's, let's, let's take a look right now. Street Fighter V. Let's see if any videos pop up with the title. Okay, so Maximilian actually... Oh, this is an old video. So this is an old... <gasps> There are only old videos popping up. And and this one that's recent. This one's recent by IGN News. But wait a minute, didn't their video get taken down? Oh wait, oh, 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 oh. Welcome to IGN News. Wait a minute, so this one didn't get taken down yet. Game, movie, but um we post videos that's here hilarious, all day, man. Every day about that is all absolutely stuff hilarious. Love. Like what? But IGN's other video got taken down on their other channel, but that one didn't. So I'm guessing that somebody over there must have kind of gotten themselves in check because yo, yo. I mean, damn. So they, uh, I don't understand it. So they Use take down stick. some videos, well, listen, but they up. don't take down others. You're a gamer. Yeah, the videos you're that they, uh, yeah, very, very strange stuff to me, guys. I mean, at the end of the day here, we'll see what happens, but um, I'll keep you updated on this whole situation. I'll let you know um, if anything changes in, gar in regards to my situation. Uh, most likely things will get resolved here, but again, it's all up for speculation. I mean, if Capcom is going to crucify everybody for just posting about their stuff in the title of their videos, or just posting freaking images, then I mean, obviously there's a problem here. So um, let me know what you guys think of this whole thing. I will not be using Street Fighter V in the title of my video that's going up right now, because last thing I need is another strike going, although I think that things will definitely be resolved. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, I, I still can't believe that though. They actually took down IGN's fucking video. Like, son. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.